Hey man, what it is? What it ain't? It's your boy DK, y'all through the press of the south, and your granny favorite month, baby. You heard, man? I'm fucking with that boy Vereen TV, giving that boy a special thank you for letting me come tell y'all about my Respect the Dog project that's coming out March 12th. You hear me? If you ain't fucking with Vereen, you had green. All right, man. So what's up, man? What it is? We we uh, long overdue, man. Yeah, yeah. So uh, give us a little uh, background on information on yourself, like where you from? Um, Bell Glade, Florida. Bell Glade, Florida. Now, for somebody that don't know, what like describe what is Bell Glade? Bell Glade is his own culture. And how yeah. far would you say Bell Glade is from Miami? By about an hour and fifteen, hour and twenty. And uh, what does uh, Bell Glade mean to you? Uh, Bell Glade family, bro. You feel me? That was that way everything started. I left Bell Glade when I was probably like 12 years old, and we had moved to the city, and then from then we were just back and forth. Like Mo well, Mo City as a whole, like break it down. I feel like everything pretty much in one, you know what I'm saying? It's like Bell Glade, South Bay, Polk, and them in sections, you feel me? But it ain't no white people here, white people, you know what I'm saying? Everybody really in the mix together. And uh, what was it like growing up in Bell Glade? I mean, you feel me? Had a couple of homeboys pass. You learn, you learn stuff a little the hard way. You feel me? Mama quit to throw you outside. You gotta go learn it the hard way. You can't be soft, especially being a red nigga. Yeah. yeah. And uh, would you say you had it hard growing up, like as far as like the household? Uh yeah, my mama ain't really have it like that. Like going to um, I remember going to school. We was, me and my brothers, we were sleeping on the floor. And then after my great grandma died, my mom and them, they slept in the uh, hospital bed that she died in because they brought it home. So my mom and my sister were sleeping in that bed. People ain't really know it like that. I ain't never tell nobody. You know what I'm saying? I was always that happy ass, happy ass nigga, joking around and shit. Yeah. And what would you say your uh, craziest experience, like growing up in Palm Beach County as a whole? Like some crazy shit that you. Through, like, up. Uh, see, I seen a nigga get shot like 17 times. I seen a nigga get shot 17 times in front of my face. That was in Begley. That was in Begley. Was that like uh, traumatized or just a, a, a normal thing? Uh, see, I just was like, damn. It was me, I was, it was me and Canoe. Me and Canoe, we were just chilling. Saying that shit, block boy. So uh, take us to uh, school. Like, did you have a chance to finish high school? Yeah. Finish high school, college. I went to college too. What did you uh, go to college for? Like, what did you uh, study? I went to college to try to be a marriage counselor. So I had studied psychology. Okay, okay. And you went for a sport, right? Yeah, yeah, the track. You went for, it. and I guess you was like ranked at a. You was ranked uh, number uh, fifteen in the country country yep. and then you it got to a point where you uh i guess you dropped out and said you want to focus on the music i had got my a oh you all finished yeah i had got my a now I, I had told myself i want to come for the um start doing music and shit because i had stopped going to class i just had bitches yeah bitches doing my work you feel me and then nigga colorado was right down the street so it went nothing to a nigga to get like you feel me yeah. some trees and you know, serve to my classmates and shit like that so that was like my last, that was like my last two semesters, you feel me? Yeah. And then, shit, nigga came home, started rapping. Explain like the process, like what was like the main reason behind like not furthering your education and picking like the whole rap thing? Um, shit, everybody around me was just like, when I was bullshit rapping and shit, everybody around me would just be like, man, you hard, bro, if I was you, I would just go home and start rapping, you feel me? So I was like, I, I just you know you just keep hearing something like over and over again. But like, why they believe in me more than I believe in myself? Yeah. Yeah. And what was your uh, mom reaction uh, about the whole thing? She at first it was crazy because she like, damn, you from come from school? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But she already knew like I was cheating on all my tests, and it wasn't really me doing my class or you feel me? Mm -hmm. So you know what I'm saying? So she knew like, like. I was trying to make it work, you yeah. know what I'm saying? So, 
I finished as first as I could, and I told her I'm finna come home. You know what I'm saying? And what type of uh, student would you say you was in college? If you had to like describe yourself in like three words, like I was always chilling, man. Just chilling, laid back. Chilling, laid back, fun ass nigga. Yeah. Everybody knew me though. Yeah. Like all the way around the city, hey, I'm a familiar face to everybody. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So then I guess you came home from uh, school. You was dropping like freestyles on. Instagram. Yeah, I was dropping freestyles on Instagram and Facebook. They was going crazy. Okay, okay. People were sharing them and stuff. And then I guess you got to this point where you previewed that guy. Yeah. And it was, that's, that's like the song that pretty much puts you in the position that you're in right now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, explain that feeling. Like, well, explain to us how it even happened. Like, the whole, like, what was your, like, your process of, like, marketing? I know you played a big uh, role in, like, what you, your track. Yeah, I, was so, uh, I had marketing was marketing was my big thing. Like, I was like, man, we gotta be lit. Like, yeah. we gotta be lit. And I hit up Jack, came to the blog, I'm like, bro, we gotta be lit. But they, I called Skinny. I got a song, bro, it's gonna be the one, you feel me? And then, when I did it, they was listening to it. We listened to that song from like 12 p.m. to 5 p.m. And I'm learning it with them because I was freestyling in yeah. the movie film. So we recorded like two videos and we kept the first one. We posted and this day, it just started going viral. DJs would hit me up from here, well, it was crazy. So then we just had to immediately shoot a music video to yeah. it. Like, you know what I'm saying? So take us uh, a little bit back. Like, at what point you actually started taking music serious? Would you say? Was it like. As soon as I came home. So you came home, so it was like way, way before uh, that guy. Yeah, like as soon as I came home, I had dropped like three songs and then that guy, you feel me? Like, okay, okay. So uh, break down the name for us, the DKE Arthur. Dark Knight Empire, Arthur. Why Arthur? Uh, Arthur, they telling stories. Stories? Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. So what do you feel about uh, Palm Beach music scene right now, uh, as a whole? I just feel like, like what you mean? Like as far as like the Palm Beach, like the scene, the music scene, like the vibe, like what do you feel about it? Like, I just feel as far as like where you think we at, as far as like the music go. I just feel like people gotta stop being lazy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Just pick it up a little bit more. And I see a lot of talent for it. You just gotta stop being lazy. Post every day, every day. That's all I see. I see a lot of talent. Though. Everybody hard in their own way. From from my eyes, you probably like one of the most supported artists in Palm Beach, and like you know, support is like really, really like hard to get in Palm Beach. Yeah. Like, explain some of the ways like you got to that point. Like, I had like the most. Uh, well, my mama ain't really have as much money like that. Yeah. So we'll be moving around a lot. You get what I'm saying? Okay. Okay. So we'll have to move a lot. Like when you have money for this place, I move to the next. So I probably went to like 14 different schools. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I ain't never been no like creep ass nigga talk behind niggas back and nothing like that. Yeah. Or I just was a nigga to myself. Maybe you ain't know me, you feel me? Yeah. Or a funny ass nigga. So like that alone, you feel me? Like I ain't got no bad face with nobody really, you know what I'm saying? Okay, okay. So pretty much like you're cool with everybody, so it's kinda easier to uh get that uh support. Yeah, I just respect everybody. Stay in my own lane, my own business. And uh, take us back to uh, that guy, like the making, the process. Like when you recorded the song, like was it like a regular record, or you like you knew that was gonna be? I ain't, I just knew like one of my little cousins just kept telling me like, bro, just make one up tempo song. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, all right, bet. Cause I was just making a little storytelling. Yeah. Storytelling shit, but yeah, I made like two, three songs that night. The same type of vibe. Nah. No. Like, different. Uh, I made Hard Nights that night, and I made uh, Keep It Walking that night, too. That's crazy. Yeah, so every song that night made this mistake. Okay, okay. And a couple months after that, you dropped uh, the VVs, man. Yeah. Johnny Dan. Yeah. What was that uh, whole feeling like? Like uh, driving, going to Texas? Cause ain't too many people, man, that can take that trip. Uh, I don't know, bro. Johnny Dan family, though. Fabian, Johnny Dane's family. He, he tired. 
Okay, okay. So um, explain the feeling. Cause a lot of people probably don't know. Like maybe like three years ago, we probably used to, we used to talk on the phone. You like predicting this whole situation. Yeah, yeah. Me and you used to talk about this shit all the time. Like you started your Instagram page around just like started like two months after I started mine, and we just would like be going in the competition with each other for real. Like let's see who 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 followers gonna get what this month or. All right, what you gonna do to get your followers here? I did this. All right, bet, bet, bet. We just be doing a little shit like that. You know, just starting off supporting each other. Okay, so are you signed, like, under management, or what's the, uh... Yeah, management. Uh, I got three, I got three managers. Three managers? Yeah. Is it, uh, three different, uh, groups of people, or just, uh, like, three different names, or... Three different, three different, um... Three different businesses. Um, I got the collective. Collective. Freddie B. That's my manager. Uh, 808 Management. That's Ryan Singh. And then I got Zay Prince. That's Drake Manager. Okay, okay. So, as far as like your sound, if you had to compare your sound, because your sound is like, like you listen to that guy and then you listen to Cautious, it's like two different, like, if you had to like explain your sound, like what group would you uh, put it in? Man, I'm just a whole vibe. Whatever I'm feeling at that moment, yeah. that's what I'm gonna make. You get what I'm saying? That's what that's just that's just this that's what this project about. Like yeah. it's just a whole vibe. And then the respect the dog, like respect the dog. I chose the name respect the dog because when you cross the green bridge, it ain't no lights. Feel me? Yeah. You get what I'm saying? And then when you walk in, when you walk in your house with the lights on, you just walk through, and you just be vibing. But you close the, you turn the lights off, and you walk through the, you know what I'm saying? You walk through the house, you go to feeling on the walls, you go to kicking for shoes and stuff, trying to see where you gotta go, cause you respect that dog. So in life, you just gotta respect the dog. So uh, the track uh, Hard Nights. Yeah. It was uh, dedicated to Raw. Yeah. And uh, let's. Uh... I really. I really made that song hard nights, like like I said, Wait, the same before, night. I we made, made the same night as uh, that guy, cause I said I yeah. said but I said but in the song, mm -hmm. you feel me? And I sent it to him the night I had did that song like two years ago, you feel me? But I dedicated the video to him. And uh, what was your uh, relationship with Raw? Me and Raw used to talk all the time, like all the time. I used to tell him to uh, come on the road with me. He used to be like, come on the road with me, bro. Come on the road with me. I talked to him a couple of days before he, before he had died. I had talked to him. Okay. I think I got a text message. Still in my phone. I think I got a text message in my phone. Yeah, go right here. He tell me, he said, we got a link card. He said, I'm trying to call you when I leave this girl. I said, when? He said, whenever you free. I said, you know I'm gonna be in your ear when I see you, right? He said, I already know, cuz. I need that talk. I said, no, you don't, cuz. You need to move different. He said, hell yeah. I steady be getting caught up in these streets. I said, I'm gonna be at the studio all week. So I would tell him to pull up on me yeah. that week. And uh, when did y'all meet? Was it like in high school, middle school, or like, like growing up in Like elementary. We met in elementary. And uh, for somebody that don't know, what what type of person was he? If you had to funny, describe him, big hearted, funny, big hearted. He always liked to joke. I always liked to joke. Rock can talk about his worst enemy. He yeah. couldn't even, he couldn't even talk about his worst enemy like that. And if you could tell him one thing, what would it be? Shit, the same thing I was telling his ass. Come hit the road with me. Come hit the road with me. And about uh, ninety percent of artists, they when they die, they get killed in their own hometown. At yeah. what point in the artist's career should they uh, move out? Shit. As soon as you're doing something different from everybody yeah. else. As soon as you're doing something different from everybody else. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, back to uh, Palm Beach. Any artists, up and coming artists, you want to work with? Sure. I look forward to working with you. Feel like y'all can make some. Uh, Man, I just want to work with somebody that's consistent. Consistent. You feel me? Yeah. I don't want you to be a rapper this week and then you just chilling. chilling. You get what I'm saying? 
Because that ain't what I'm doing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I want you to just be as serious as I'm here. True. And uh, the feature with uh, Cornel Cornel Rundle, how did that happen? Like, explain like the process of how everything uh, happened. Uh, Cornel Rundle, I had met Cornel through somebody else, and it was like, hey, you and Cornel would be hard on the record. You feel me? So that's how that happened. Okay, okay. What did y'all like? Uh, link in the studio or? No, 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 no. I had recorded the um, I had recorded the first and the third verse. First, and I moved it over, and then he did put his verse, yeah. his second verse. Yeah. And uh, back to uh, that guy, do you feel like uh, Dixon Fried Chicken owe your checks? No, nah, I don't feel like they owe me a check, but they be giving me, they be showing love when yeah. I go through though. You feel me? They give me some free food there and now and then, or they rush up, hurry up on my order or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Now the, the new mixtape that's about to drop. Uh, any features like who can we uh, spec on it? producers? Uh, keep on money, keep on money. He rap out of Memphis. Yeah. He's streaming big out of Memphis. Uh, he just signed. He just signed to Atlantic. I think he just signed to Atlantic. Um, then producers, you know, we got Go Grizz, we got Pooh. Uh, Pooh don't worry. He he did the he did the beat on um, by the baby Shug. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. He did some stuff on my um, Go Grizz. He worked with everybody, Young Boy, Kevin Gates. Uh, he, he did. He just did one of the baby songs too. That um, the baby song. That's that's going big right now. Um, double A on double A on there. Yeah. Yeah. One called Me and Lavish. Okay, okay, okay. Me and Lavish on there. So you know we had to do. Me and Lavish had to do one. Cause I'm from the G, he from the K. Yeah. So wanna do like we gonna do we gonna do a joint tape though. Me and Lavish gonna do a joint tape called Mutt Bull and That's we're gonna so. we're gonna drop it around Mutt Bull. So we gonna do something like that. Wanna be Mutt Bull. Yeah. It might be this year for real. And how many uh, tracks? Um, probably like seven. Seven. Six or seven. So how many tracks on the uh your uh mixtape? Oh twelve. Oh, we 12. got twelve. That got back on there. Yeah. The bonus tracks, twelve track. So what would you say the most important thing for a uh, up and coming artist since you like went through all the phases, you met a uh, million people in the industry already, what would you say the most important thing for up and coming artists? Uh, image. The image. I'll say image. Is it more of a like a... Uh, and personality too. Personality. Image and personality, you feel me? Yeah. Because your image is going to catch a person eye and then we'll come, we'll come out your mouth second. You know what I'm saying? So like really being a real genuine person, I ain't get you real far. So uh, tell us uh, one fun fact about yourself that not too many people or nobody know. A fun fact. Uh, it's, uh I be chilling, bro. I'm real goof, bro. Yeah. Chilling. Nothing, nothing too amazing. And people be thinking I'm short, though. I don't know why people be thinking yeah. I'm short. I'm six three. That's crazy. <laughs> I don't know why people be thinking I'm short. What do you uh? Think that is it because probably the um, I don't know. Uh, I don't really well. I don't come out unless I'm getting paid. Yeah, people come out. You Definitely. know what I'm saying. So people be seeing me on social media. Yeah, <laughs> they want to see me they drop a bag. Okay, okay. And uh, what what would you say the most biggest uh, the biggest misconception about yourself? Like something that's uh, that people think is true but not really true. Uh, they don't mean. What you mean? Yeah, they be like, we be mean. You feel me? I don't be looking mean, I just be, I just be keeping my head up, you feel me? And how, why do you think that's the, the biggest, like, how did that come about, what would you say? I don't because, know, uh, I guess on my pictures, I don't really smile that yeah. much. You feel me, if I go live, I just have a straight face. Yeah. But I really just be chilling, you feel me? I really just be chilling. <laughs> and how do you uh, deal with the heat? Yeah, I don't see nothing. No. I just see what's going on in front of me. Okay, so do you uh, do you really care what people say or? Yeah, no. Nah. No. Nah. Nah. Niggas can't even walk in the same buildings I be in. You yeah. sit next to me. You get what I'm saying? True. So I don't even be giving a fuck, for real. Yeah. You feel me? And then the same niggas be seeing me. Don't say nothing. 
you feel me? Yeah. That shit don't bother me, bro. I don't get any money. True. And uh, what are some of the things you accomplished in the past year as an artist, would you say? Uh, shit. I gave away 200 turkeys to my hood. That's Thanksgiving. I was sleeping on the floor last Thanksgiving. Feel me? You know, where do you see yourself a year from now? Shit. I don't know. I always heard, I heard a saying somebody told me, uh, reach for the moon. Huh? I always repeat what you said. I heard a um, saying somebody say, reach for the moon, because if you miss the moon, you'll be a monster star. So I'm reaching for the moon right now. So uh, besides like the mixtape, what's uh, next for you as an artist? See, um, the next one. The next the City one? City of the Apes. Well, when can we expect that? This summer. Okay. And I forgot to ask you, what type of vibe should we expect for the, the new mixtape? Um, should we get like a that guy vibe, cautious vibe? Like what type uh, of vibe? More of a cautious gamble, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like melodic vibe, more of a melodic vibe. But the next one going to be out of the club, bank though. So, you know, I just had to introduce the in. I just had to introduce Better Glade and yeah. Palm Beach County to the industry. Yeah. Because on the music side people don't really know you get what i'm saying but they really they know about the football shit you feel me yeah so that was it. okay okay that's why i forgot to ask you that question uh how many uh like name some famous people that you know from uh palm beach county that i know that's not sports uh no personally well it can be just known like in uh in general uh, Dave Rose, bro. She, she kind of know. Famous. Yeah, she, she famous. She female. For the female, she famous. Uh, she, well, <laughs> DK CBJ, <laughs> DK J, <Jai>. Petro. <laughs> <laughs> DJ Jada. <laughs> uh, man, well, you tell me. I ain't gonna lie. I met a couple people behind the scene from yeah. um, like um, somebody from Sony. It was a dude, white, white guy, a white kid from Sony. Sony. Oh, yeah. yeah, like he um, he do publishing and marketing. Yeah. You feel me? I ain't never know. That. And it's a, it's a couple people in the industry like behind the scenes from yeah. Palm Beach. Okay. So what's the uh, the females like since like gaining the buzz? Well, I don't really be paying females too much attention. They be going crazy though. Yeah. Yeah. See, we Jay done one time, and I think we was in Fort Pierce. The bitch tried to tackle me. The bitch tried to tackle me. Bitch. <laughs> See, we Jay had to grab her ass. That's yeah. Yeah, hey, yo. That shit was funny. It's like, what's it like, like being in front of like all these famous people traveling, like for somebody that's not in your uh, shoes? See, I. I just, I just um treated like shit. We work, we got, we got the same job. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, it, that's what it is. You feel me? I get, I guess, cause um, I guess, cause I'm from Bagley. We be around, we done been around so many football players. You feel me? Yeah. So I just treated like nigga in the locker room or some shit. You know what I'm saying? So, and I don't, I'm gonna be real. I don't even really be trying to be around other rappers like that. Yeah. You feel me? Like. I really just be to myself, trying to create, going through life on my own. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So any other big features you got lined up? Uh, I was talking to Fredo Bang. Man, he was talking about some. Uh, might have some with Sada Baby from Detroit. Um, me and Molly Brazy had did some one time. Uh, other than that, I don't know. I'm trying to get one with Stunner for Vegas, though. Yeah. Yeah, I'm trying to get one with him. That would be crazy. Yeah. Okay, okay. So take us to... Top uh, you. Top huh? you. Me and Top you. Me yeah. and Top you. We real. Uh, yeah, me and Top you real close. Yeah. Yeah, yeah me and Top you talk on the phone like every other day. Probably That's like good. 30 minutes. I'm a dog. He just signed to, uh, what, Meek Mills or some shit right Yeah. Now? Yeah. That's what's up. Yeah, Tafi, that my boy. I mean, I just sent him a song like two days ago, told him to do it. Yeah. I'm gonna jump on it for me. We're gonna go back to back on it. Yeah, man. 
for the city of the eight. Yeah. So, so what take us in like the, the studio? Do you write freestyle? Like, what's your process of uh, making music? I started mumbling. I go in there and just start making noise yeah. on the beat. Just say what feel right. You know what I'm saying? It's hard to explain. Like, say what feel right, but it's certain words that feel right. You know what I'm saying? To say. And then I, I got to make sure, you know, what I'm saying, you feel me? I'm telling my story, you yeah. feel me? Or what I'm doing, or what I got going on around me, or what I just saw, or what I just did, you know what I'm saying? So, at the beginning of your career, career, was it like a point you've been doing that, or? Uh, uh or no, I, like I started, that? I started doing that like, like a year ago. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay. I started what? doing that after I caught the diamonds, after I caught the VV. So I just went there. Yeah. When the diamonds niggas started talking right. And well, what are some of the main things you need in the studio, like catch that vibe, like must have? Uh, weed. Weed. Hella weed. Hella weed. Water and get ready. No, no alcohol? Nah, I don't drink. Never had liquor day in my life. No, what, what it because of the bad stories or? Nah. Just never tasted it. I don't know, it stink. Yeah. I, I know I said weed, but alcohol stink. Okay, okay. And what else? Say, come on. Come on. What are some of the things you do on like the downtown, like stuff? Sleep. I try sleep. to get sleep, I try to get sleep, bro. I'm trying to do nothing else. If I just meditate, you, bro, I eat, breathe, eat, breathe, shit, sleep. Yeah. Um, uh, eat, sleep, shit, breathe, and create music. You feel me? All right, so anything else you want to say before we close it up? No, oh, man, I appreciate you for having me and shit. Hey, respect the dog. Drop this Thursday, March 12th. You feel me? What it is, what it ain't? But DK, you out to the Prince of the South and your grand favorite month.